Welcome to Daily Devotions with Jesus. I'm Graham Joseph Hill. You can find links to our devotional books and podcasts at grahamjosephhill.com forward slash devotions. Today I'm guiding you through a devotional reflection on Genesis 9. Please take some time to read through the chapter slowly, reflectively and prayerfully. Let's begin. In Genesis 9 we're presented with a scene of profound renewal and the establishment of a covenant a promise marked by the rainbow in the sky. This passage not only recounts the covenant between God and every living creature, but also also imparts deep spiritual lessons about the responsibilities of blessing, the sanctity of life, the nature of promises, and the challenge of human flaws, and the assurance of divine presence. These lessons guide us in our understanding of our role as God's creation, and how we might live out our faith in meaningful ways. Let's explore five lessons from Genesis 9 that enrich our spirituality and guide us for how we might live. Firstly, the responsibility of blessings. Blessings carry responsibilities. And this story highlights that theme with great clarity. After the flood, God blesses Noah and his sons and gives them the earth to replenish and subdue. With this blessing comes significant responsibility. The blessing is not merely for the benefit of Noah, but his family, and is intended to foster a relationship of stewardship with the earth. This teaches us that blessings are not merely personal or for our own enjoyment. They are our responsibilities. Every blessing we receive, whether a talent, resource, or opportunity, is given to us to manage wisely and share generously. Our spirituality grows deeper and more meaningful when we view our blessings through the lens of stewardship and also service. Secondly, the sanctity of life. God's instructions to Noah about not consuming blood because it is the life of the creature underscores the principle of the sanctity of life. God loves life. God cares for life. God created life. And God has called humanity to reflect his value upon life and to pursue the sanctity of life. This directive elevates the act of eating beyond mere consumption to a theological statement reflecting the life God has created. This principle challenges us to consider how we treat all forms of life around us. It compels us to act with compassion and mindfulness, recognizing that all creation has value. In practical terms, it calls for actions that respect and protect life, ethical choices about what we consume, how we treat animals, and how we care for the environment. Thirdly, the nature of divine promises. The rainbow stands as a sign of God's covenant with every living creature, a promise promise that there will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. This covenant is unconditional, relying solely on God's faithfulness. You see, we rely on God's divine promises because God is good, God is holy, God is faithful, God is loving, God keeps divine promises. For us, the lesson is clear. God's promises are steadfast and reliable. This understanding invites us to trust in God's good and eternal promises and to find peace in the certainty of God's faithfulness. It encourages us to respond by living lives that reflect trust and faithfulness in our promises to others. Just as God is faithful in God's promises, so too are we called to be people who are faithful to the promises we make. Fourthly, the challenge of human flaws. The narrative of Noah's drunkenness and his son's disrespect highlights the persistent reality of human flaws and sins, even among those who are considered righteous. This part of the story serves as a humbling reminder that being recipients of God's blessings and promise does not render us immune to error or moral failures. This realization should foster humility and vigilance in our spiritual lives. It calls us to continually seek God's grace, to overcome our weaknesses, 
and to live in ways that align with God's will despite our imperfections. Fifthly, the assurance of divine presence. Finally, the covenant of the rainbow not only reassures reassures, uh, us and the earth of God's mercy, but reminds us of God's enduring presence in our lives and in all of creation. The rainbow is a symbol that God is actively involved and committed to the flourishing of the earth. This symbol of divine presence encourages us to remain conscious of God's closeness in every aspect of our lives. It invites us to live in a manner that acknowledges God's presence, seeking to recognize divine love and care in our daily interactions and experiences. God is present in our lives. God is close to us. God loves us. God is present with you no matter what it is that you're facing today. As we reflect on Genesis 9, let these lessons permeate our understanding and actions. Let's embrace the responsibilities that come with blessings, honour, and and seek to honour the sanctity of life in all of its forms. Trust in the steadfast nature of God's promises. Approach our human flaws with humility and grace and live with a deep awareness of God's abiding presence. Through these practices, our lives will not only reflect our faith, but also contribute to the unfolding of God's loving purpose in the world. In the profound renewal and covenant of Genesis 9, we find spiritual lessons that resonate deeply with the teachings of Jesus and guide us on how we should live as his disciples. This devotion draws on themes of stewardship, the sanctity of life, the reliability of divine promises, human imperfection, and the presence of God, themes that echo through the life and words of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus taught us the importance of stewardship, urging us to use our blessings not for self-glorification, but for the service of others much like the responsibility given to Noah and his family. This aligns with the parable of the talents, where Jesus encourages us to wisely manage what we've been given for the greater good. Moreover, the sanctity of life, highlighted in God's command to Noah about the blood, mirrors Jesus' teachings on compassion and kindness towards all humanity and all creation reminding us of his call to love our neighbours and care for the least of these among us. The unconditional nature of God's covenant with Noah prefigures the new covenant brought by Jesus Christ our Lord, emphasising faithfulness and trust, qualities that Jesus exemplified and taught as foundational for his followers. The narrative of Noah's flaws and the challenges they present Remind us of Jesus' teachings on forgiveness and humility. Just as we're imperfect, broken, fallen, Jesus calls us to acknowledge our weaknesses and seek God's strength, God's grace, God's presence and power in overcoming them. Finally, the rainbow is a sign of God's enduring presence, encourages us us to live in constant awareness of God's nearness a theme Jesus often spoke of, particularly in his assurance, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. By integrating these lessons, this devotion not only deepens our understanding of Genesis 9, but also strengthens our commitment to live faithfully as disciples of Jesus Christ, embodying his teachings in everyday actions and interactions. Let's pray. Loving Creator, in the vast expanse of your creation, you've placed a covenant of colours in the sky, a sign of your unending promise to us and to all living creatures. Help us to embrace the responsibilities that accompany your blessings, to act, to act as stewards of the earth and caretakers of all its inhabitants. Guide our hearts to honour the sanctity of life in every form, to see the divine spark in all your creations. Teach us to rely on the certainty of your promises, finding peace in your faithfulness 
and strength in your steadfast love. In moments of our frailty, when our flaws become apparent, grant us humility and the grace to seek your face. May we be gentle with ourselves and others, always remembering that your love covers a multitude of sins. You love us, you seek us, you hold us, you forgive us. Your grace is made perfect in our weakness. Illuminate our lives with the rainbow of your presence. May this divine sign remind us daily of your nearness, encouraging us to live in in, in an awareness of your loving gaze upon us. Help us reflect your love in our interactions to spread hope and peace that comes from living under your covenant. Amen. Amen.